Hey y'all, it's Kiss. Welcome back. I'm glad you're here. I'm so excited to show you this bag that I got from Hot Topic a couple weeks ago, I guess. Um, it kind of reminds me of Loungefly's style of bags, but it was a brand called Her Universe. And I just love it. I love Strawberry Shortcake. It's so nostalgic for me. I used to play with her as a kid. I still remember that smell. This is so cute and, and springy and summery. And um, I'm just going to go ahead. Um, it looks like a basket, but it's vinyl, you know, faux leather, whatever you want to call it. But I love that texture that it has. It came with this cute little charm. It has the blossom on here and the strawberries. And then I thought that my um, Duncan charm was cute on here. At least it was cute in person, but now on camera, these are showing up more orange instead of red. Oh well, <laughs> I might take that off because really, I mean, this is cute enough by itself. It don't really need a whole lot of decoration anyway. But, um... Got the cute little strawberry shortcake on here and custard. I used to have a little toy, plastic toy custard somewhere. And I tried to find it, but I cannot find it. So I don't know if it's at my parents' house or if I just donated it or something. I don't know, but now I wish I had it. So anyway, it's just so cute. It has this um, strap that you can attach however you want to. But normally, like with a crossbody bag, it bothers me to have a strap attached on opposite sides like that. But with this one, it didn't bother me at all. Uh, maybe it's the size of the bag that makes the difference. I don't know. But um, I like that I can just grab it by the handles and carry it that way. And look at this lining. I just, I can't. It's so pretty. And the little strawberries and I think it has little cats in there too and so this is what it looks like and it's very stuffed <laughs> um, and I think I could take some stuff out I think I would enjoy it a little bit better that way I mean I'm loving it I've carried it a couple times yesterday already hold on a minute I need to close my door Um, <clears throat> and I've loved it, um, but it's a little overstuffed for the size of it, and it's still plenty big enough for what I want to carry. I could take pouches out if I wanted to, but I'm a lot more content having my stuff organized better. So, um, I'll explain more about that in a little while, but I think there are some things that I could take out. So, um, first I'll just, well, I had trouble deciding whether to put red or pink. And I went with pink because that's mostly what it is on the inside, even though the outside is mostly red. And, you know, strawberry shortcake is both, so that don't matter. So, I had bought this, um, Victoria's Secret pouch with a larger one that's also got hearts on it on sale. And so... I decided to use this for my makeup, and I could um, consolidate this with another pouch because, you know, I was thinking I like to carry lots of lip glosses and stuff, but I can only wear one at a time. I like to have options, but, you know, if I put something in here that would match just about anything, I don't have to carry all of it. So, um, I have my highlighter. Y'all have seen most of this stuff. This is a... Um, a nice shadow stick and champagne color. This is my lip oil. It's just a sheer wash of red tint. So I like that. Here's my mascara. My Fenty Gloss. My Moogler Angel. So I could, you know, take out couple of glosses. I could take this out because I have a tiny little sample size of that so I could carry that instead. Um, this is my yummy gloss. I think this is in strawberry so I felt like that needed to go in here. Uh, makeup remover wipe and this cute little 
um, scrunchie that I found from Dollar Tree last summer. My eyeliner fell out. This is just a black eyeliner. And you know, I'm good with just eyeliner, mascara, and gloss. Um, I'm fine with that. So I, I could carry way less where this is concerned. So I felt like this needed to, to be in here though. I found this at Dollar Tree last summer. It's a lip oil. And my mirror. So I'm going to go ahead, I think, and leave out what I don't have to carry. But I do need my mascara, <coughs> my liner, and my makeup remover wipe. So I guess this will be a good uh, example of... This one needs to come along since it's got the strawberries on it. This will be a good example of like how you can size down a little bit if you end up carrying too much. Okay, I'm going to leave the rest of this out of here because it's not really necessary. So that'll help. And then this is my bathroom pouch. So, you know, if I wanted to, I could put bathroom stuff and um, makeup stuff in one pouch. I had a zipper pull on here and I don't know where it went. Maybe it's down in there somewhere. We'll find it later. I'll just have to do the best I can here. The one that came on it broke off, but I still like this pouch anyway. So I have my can of Lysol here, and that's not really necessary when I have antibacterial wipes. So I could leave that out. And I feel like the rest of this stuff is necessary because I do need the wipes and the liners, um, pad, tampons, there's a Tide pen and a deodorant stick. So I guess I could just put this in with the other. I'll mess around with that later, but um, this is helping, so that's less already. And I'm carrying the same notebook. My fan. I decided to put my prescription glasses in here. And they fit real well in there and that don't take up a lot of space. And I have my medications and stuff in here. I've been carrying this for a little while now so I just moved it from one bag to another. So I've got eye lubricant and flossers and um, a band-aid. There's Excedrin. And then a mint. I thought I had a Pepto in here. I hope I do because we use those pretty frequently. And I'm keeping my daughter's info in here, but I could leave this out and put her ID and insurance card along with mine in my wallet. So that's another way I can um, minimize things a little bit and so this I just I'm keeping some jewelry in here and I don't want to leave this out because um, <clears throat> sometimes well I love wearing bracelets and um, this is one from the that kit that you can buy from the Dollar Tree and I made that um, and I put some of the charms on here too. But anyway, I love wearing bracelets, but then sometimes I'll leave out of the house and forget my bracelet. So um, I like to carry some with me because I just enjoy wearing them that much. So that's all that's in there right now. These belong in there too. And then I like to carry a reusable Ziploc bag because that holds a lot of leftovers. It can be used as an ice pack, lots of different things. So I like to keep that. I have my keychain set. I just attached a wristlet to this and I've got a lot of stuff on here. 
cute little ice cream cone, my earbuds. These are so small, they're hard to keep up with, so I think I'm going to like having them attached to here. I am have I have some loose pills in here, and I might have a Pepto in here too, so that would be good if I did. Let me see. Yep, there's one right on top, so that's good. These come from Amazon, and that way you can have pills with you if you're just carrying your keys. This is my lip balm, a little pocket knife. Um, flashlight and here's a nut bar that I put in here before church yesterday and neither of us ate it here is my hand cream I probably should get rid of this because after a couple of years um, Bath and Body Works hand creams will start to get kind of clumpy and they don't look so good it still smells normal I think yeah, it still smells normal, but um, I'm kind of bored with strawberry pound cake scent anyway, so I'll probably just leave this out. I don't know. Or there's not, but just a tiny bit left in here, so I'll probably just use it up. And, yeah, I remembered this being in here. I used this in church yesterday, and I didn't like it. I don't know why I keep buying these Dollar Tree hand creams, because they come out so watery, and then when they soak in, they end up being sticky. So, I'm just going to throw this out. There's there's no need to even bother with it because I just dislike it that much. It's going in the garbage right now. There we go. I'm carrying some sensitive wet ones because my daughter's hands are very sensitive and she needs to use that kind. And I got this in friend mail. And it goes really cute with this set. And so this is my wristlet slash wallet, you know, carry-all. Um, I like that, oh, I was going to say I like that the wristlet detaches, but it does not on this one. I have another one that it does. Anyway, this is the corner zip. And so I like that because it gives you a little more space to get in there and get it open. And so I have little necessities in here. Band-Aid, uh, eye lubricant, clippers. There's a mint, a liner, more wet ones. One of my subscribers said that I should get a Touchland spray, and I know they're cute, and I bet they do smell good, but for, for instance, for a smaller pouch like this, I do have smaller flat hand sprays that I've gotten as promotional, you know, freebies from different companies and organizations, and I do use those sometimes, but I think, like, I feel more confident with my hands being wiped, so an actual wet one, and that'll fit into just about anything, but I do have those other smaller sprays if I want them, and then my cards are just here, there's two card slots, and, um... I have a tampon there and my headache medicine. So that's about it for this one. You know, if I wanted to leave my purse in the truck, I could just carry this in. So, oh, here's the wristlet that I had attached to that other pouch. I keep hitting my camera. So I have a lifesaver here thought there was another one somewhere there it is got those from the doctor's office they're really yummy I hadn't had lifesavers in forever especially like the pineapple and watermelon and stuff so over here is just a big slit pocket and I have this nail file I got this in friend mail I like that it is it's in his own little holder and that way it won't scratch up my other stuff so I have lots of wet ones here where I can just grab and get it without having to search through my whole purse with dirty hands. I have a mosquito wipe because it's that time of year. We're going to start going to the park and stuff and we need that sort of thing now. Here is the tag that came with the purse. I didn't pay that price even. I think I got it at, I don't remember, 30% off and I had rewards or something or other. So, uh, that's what that tag looks like. And I'm carrying a Starbucks sleeve in case 
I get a Dunkin' drink or something and it's like an iced coffee that's too cold for me. If I forget to get one from the restaurant store, whatever you call it. Um, my gum and watermelon. And I have my Kleenexes and one of these little Amazon pouches. And I have this cute little lip balm. And I think I have, yeah, I have some candy and gum down in there. And I also have my retractable scissors. So that's it. She's very cute and fun and springy. And I'm just loving it. Like, it just reminds me of, I, I can just smell the strawberry shortcake right now. And so, I'm going to show you quickly what my favorite scent combo is lately. So, um, last night, I showered with the uh, Plumeria from last summer from Bath & Body Works. Maybe they'll bring this one back. Um, so, this has Plumeria, Peach Nectar, Apple night bloom and jasmine and gardenia so it's very floral but it's still really sweet since it has all that fruity all those fruity notes in there um this smells just like real plumeria and i love it and so then after that i put on the velvet petals untamed i think i got this last year and i've noticed that the victoria's secret body creams last a lot better than the did I say Victoria's Secret Victoria's Secret body creams last a lot better than Bath and Body Works ones do um so I do like that this one has almond moonlit woods and velvet petals and so it's very sweet and floral too and then um after that I sprayed with the Plumeria body mist last night and then this morning, I've heard that these are strong enough that you don't need a perfume with them. This is uh, one of the newest Bath & Body Works um, pink obsessed that um, smells like Donna Born and Roma. And I knew that was one of my more floral type scents. And so I used that this morning. And I really do like it a lot. It's not, it does not have the... Um, stay in power that a perfume would but it starts out being pretty fragrant and strong to begin with i don't know if i can even read the the notes here okay this one also has jasmine cashmere praline and vanilla bourbon hmm okay well anyway it's really nice if you like something that's a little floral but still really sweet like I was saying with these other scents that I've used but not too flowery try this one out if you haven't because you know they always have pretty good deals anyway I'm not gonna set things up because um, I have other things I need to do busy day for today um, we're having a Passover meal tonight because this is the full moon this is time for it and it's fun it's a good way to spend um family time together and study more about the way they did things in jesus's time and um so that'll be nice and if you if you don't know a lot about that i encourage you to do some more research on a seder meal and um it's really interesting um to find out the rituals that they had and what they ate and why and so anyway we're going to do that tonight, and I will see you again later this week with another video. I think I'm going to share another girly haul with you, so stick around for that, and thank you for being here, and I will see you later. Bye.